Can you talk a bit uh, about your background, how you got started, how you ended up creating your own company? Sure. My background's a little unusual. Um, I <laughs> formed my own company with my father when I was 18. Um, oh, okay. With the money that I would have used to go to college. Um, I don't know. Um, this, this certainly, as I look back on it, you know, uh, I mean, it turned out work worked out fine, and actually I'm, I'm glad that I did it. Um, <laughs> that's because I was young and foolhardy, however, and did not realize what the consequences could have been. You know, like, we could have failed, but I wouldn't have any money to go to college. That would kind of suck, right? You know, um, uh, it would not, you know, like, it's the sort of thing that you look back on, I'm like, yeah, I'm really glad I was young and didn't realize what a stupid thing that was to do, or I probably wouldn't have done it. I'm not sorry that I did, however, but still, you know, um, uh, but, um, but my father was actually very supportive of it. He'd been, he'd always been self-employed. He used to read, uh, had reference books with my mother, and they were always at home and stuff, and, um, I had actually been involved with the UMass Amherst animation program, such as it was, which is to say, they don't really have all that much of one, but they did have a little thing, and I was sort of involved with that earlier on. I actually ended up sort of teaching there for a while, unofficially, when I was around 16, um, because uh, I should note that I was homeschooled, so I had a lot of time on my hands. Um, uh, not because they really were, I mean, obviously 16-year-olds, and it was a, considered to be a graduate course, although I'm not sure how much that was really true in the contents of the course, but, you know. 16-year-olds um, uh, are not usually allowed to do that, but honestly, nobody there really knew anything about character animation. And even though I didn't really know anything about character animation at the time either, I mean, you've just heard me talk about how think all the old ways of doing things were bad, that's largely me talking about how all the old way of, thing, way of doing things that I used to do were bad. But, um, but, um, like CG, I don't know, they did not have anyone who had even an inkling of how to go about doing character animation, so they were willing to let me do that as a 16 year old. Um, I got kind of a swelled head as a result. It probably wasn't as large as I thought it was, but, you know. Um, as I found out later when I went to work for Blue Sky, but we'll get to that. Um, and we did, we did start the company, and immediately we had a lot of trouble because the project that we were originally going to work on, and that we had brought in all of these people who had been my students in UMass. Um, uh, first of all, I was 18, and what the hell did I know about running a company? So there's that. Second of all, um, uh, you know, people, I don't know, the project sort of fell apart. It was this whole thing. It was going to be based on these children's books. It was going to be a big project. We were going to do it with real effects studios, actually, who are still around and still doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, they became really big, actually, in the meantime, and that did not uh, that did not pan out, and so we had to scramble around looking for work. But we did a couple of jobs, and then it sort of became clear to me that, you know, we weren't making enough money doing what we were doing. Although we had started doing some other stuff too. We started writing the earliest versions of the setup machine, actually, as well. Uh, the setup machine being our, pl our rigging okay. plugin, and we, we still we still write plugins, um, and we we the, we are we're going to be coming out with a new one soon, hopefully. Um, Unfortunately, Maya's development environment is not the most awesome development environment ever. Quite the opposite, really. Um, but what are you going to do? Um, so I ended up uh, working for Blue Sky for a while because I figured, hey, I needed some, some, you know, experience. Well, okay, you know what? I didn't say that, but it was true. I needed some experience, you know, uh, basically working with the other animators who weren't taught by me. I mean, it seems, it seems actually rather obvious, looking back on it, um, and they were going to pay me a lot, um, because I was a junior animator, but, uh, you know, you work on feature animation, they do pay pretty well. I was being paid $75,000 a year. Um, that was nice. Uh, that helped me get through years subsequent when, so I put away a lot of that money, because I didn't really need it to live on, you know? <laughs> I mean, I need some of it, but, like, I, I did not have a lot of expenses. I was 21, you know? Um, Which bill? Uh, worked on robots. Um, wow. ro uh, say um, it was like, uh, I don't know, I don't even know, it came out like 2005, I think. Uh, it was like these, these like, Robin Williams. Robin Williams was in it, that's right. We weren't allowed to talk to Robot anybody about that for a while. Huh? Robots. No, I don't think that was it. Um, it was an animated film. Uh, no, Robin Williams was in it, Evan McGregor was in it, there were these robots, there's this guy Rodney who's like a robot inventor and like... Uh, he wanted to go to robots now, yeah, he to be Bigwell. Yeah, he wanted to be an inventor, there's this character named Bigwell who looks like a Mandelbrot, and he... Is Amanda Bynes also a voice actor? Yes, he, yes, he, yes, he is. I will tell you something about the voice actors on that movie. Evan McGregor was really awesome and always good to animate too because he was English, and he knew how to speak. Robin Williams was actually pretty good because he would like add lip stuff and it would be at least somewhat funny and you were like, oh, I can see how I can animate something funny to this. 
I cannot imagine what they were thinking when they got Haley Berry to do a, a voice for this. She is not a voice actor, actress. She would do, give these like incredibly flat line readings. You would get them and be like, what am I supposed to do? What emotion is she expressing? What am I supposed to do with this? I have no idea. Um, but, um, but anyway, uh, that production was not the most awesome production ever. However, I did learn a lot by going there. And one of the first things I learned was I was not as good an animator as I thought I was.